How we are shaping the welfare service of the future. Networking as the foundation of successful crisis resolution. This is Tom. As a welfare service volunteer for the German Red Cross, he helps people in emergencies with their most urgent needs. Tom knows that besides ensuring the information flow, food and lodging, he and his team are the local go-to coordinators for appropriate third-party assistance and self-help instructions. On one assignment, Tom drives to a burning block of flats. But what awaits him? Even before emergency services arrive, the residents help themselves to the best of their abilities. Self-help and neighborly assistance strengthens the resident's ability to withstand an emergency. In other words, their resilience. Relief work is divided into three stages. Once the team arrives, the emergency aid stage begins. Tom distributes food and blankets. He also sets up an emergency shelter at a nearby neighborhood center and gives psychosocial counseling. To register the affected individuals, he cooperates with the responsible local bureau of the tracing service to help both affected individuals and those in search of them. The residents are a varied group, and in crisis situations, they have equally diverse vulnerabilities. This results in very specific needs, which Tom explores with extreme empathy, because many of these needs are only visible on second glance. During the stabilization stage, Tom gives referrals to outside partners for services he cannot provide himself, or he advises affected individuals on how to assist with each other's problems. For example, a single mother is looking for somewhere for her cats to stay, but she does know a babysitter. An elderly woman needs nursing assistance for her husband and can give information about his needs. A family with foreign heritage is very self-sufficient, but needs help with communication. No problem. Because Tom is well-connected, he quickly and calmly organizes a spot in an animal shelter, a visiting nurse, and a foreign language interpreter from the neighborhood. During the normalization stage, the residents return to their flats or move to replacement housing allocated by the responsible agencies. If further problems arise, the welfare service also suggests resources that the affected individuals can contact. Tom is convinced that having a good network will make him even more efficient in helping people affected by emergencies while reducing the strain on his welfare service team. This way, in the event of other emergencies, with shorter or longer lasting stages, he is perfectly prepared. You can find more information at grc-research.de